Okay, what I'm going to do today is replace this uh, garage door. With this type of door, it's like a shop has. That way when it's opened, it doesn't drop the ceiling down or uh, block the lights. And if, this is going to have to go about two inches up in the ceiling. So the first thing I think I'm going to do before I take that door down is cut the hole in the sheetrock and rework it to where it goes up in there. And I'm also going to have to grind the foundation out on both sides a little bit. And all this trim that's on here is going to have to come off and be cut where it's flat, where it's right up against the 2x4s the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, so I took and bolted one side together just so I could get all my uh, measurements right. And it looks like there's enough room for it to clear that uh, one 2x4. Okay, so those two uh, wires need to be moved to the other side of this 2x4 and that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I got all the wires moved to the other side of the 2x4. Now, I don't know if you can see that. This one piece that's in the middle has got to come out and I think I'll just make a new one that goes up a little bit higher. Okay, I've removed that uh, one 2x4 and now it's up in there higher, another one. So the sheetrock will clear. And I just took and screwed uh, two 2x4s two together and made a bracket over there. This is all to mount the sheetrock to. Yeah, I got the uh, tape and the mud on half of it. It's taken a lot of time trying to do this upside down. Okay, I got this uh, part completely done. Next, I need to remove this door and uh, uh, take all the trim off and cut it down, but I'm not going to do that tonight. Yeah, I had a customer give me this air conditioner, and it's a bit, almost twice the size of the one that I have. So what I'm going to do is, this one runs on 220, I'm going to wire the plug socket. Yeah, so I got this plug socket mounted over here by the window. Now I just got to finish and go up in the attic and run the wire the rest of the way. Okay, so I got the wire all ran. Now I just need to add a, a 20 amp uh, circuit breaker. Okay, so now I'm going to start taking this uh, door down. Okay, I got the whole thing boarded up. Now I can finish this whole thing and then I'll just remove this plywood. And I think what I'm going to do is space this out an edge, then I don't have to grind as much off the foundation down here. Okay, I got all the sheetrock removed from up above the door. It is best to take it out like that because there's not a lot of room there. Okay, so how I'm going to space this out again away from the wall so that it's flat with this? I just went and bought some inch and eighth but, uh, plywood and I'm going to cut that out and put it on both sides. Well, I got uh, one of the brackets done. Now all the holes will come out in the right spots. Yeah, I decided to redo the drywall since I'm spacing this out. It doesn't need to be the way I had it. Yeah, I also put some uh, lag bolts going into the header to make it stronger. And I did that up in the attic too, in two places. Okay, how I uh, got the foundation ground out is I used a hammer and chisel and got most of the concrete off. And then I used a regular uh, grinding wheel on it. Yeah, I got both sides ground out. It does take a while to do that. Now I'm going to paint all around here. Then tomorrow I can put the door up. Okay, I got it all painted. So now I'm ready to mount these side pieces on there. So you also have to make sure these two brackets are level. And how I do this is I just use one of these line levels because I don't have nothing long enough to put across there and put a regular level on it. Yeah, so now I'm going to finish bolting these two pieces in. I've only got two bolts in it right now on each one. So now I'm ready to put the main piece up there. And I have to do it without these brackets on and get it up there and then put the brackets on after that. It's going to be kind of tricky to get this up here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is weld this piece of pipe onto my engine hoist. And as soon as I'm done, I'll cut it off there. And then I'm going to use a bunch of ratchet straps and strap it on there. Okay, so it looks like this is actually going to work. So now what I got to do is unscrew that piece of plywood in the center so the thing will roll all the way through. 
Okay, I just about got it finished. I got it all tensioned right. I just got to put the top draft seal on it. Yeah, the directions say this takes about 30 minutes to put one of these doors up, but it actually took almost four days. Okay, this is a Janus uh, 2500 door. And I ordered it from a company called Steel Door Depot, and they'll make it any size you want it. And it cost about a thousand bucks with shipping. Yeah, and these doors, they don't block the lights or drop the ceiling down when it's open. And that's why I replaced it. Okay, so now I'm putting that uh, window air conditioner in. The only way I could get uh, plywood to fit inside the window frame was to cut two pieces. This piece is just on here temporary to hold it. And after I'm finished, I'll put another piece on the back side that'll be screwed to this. Yeah, what I did is I screwed a bigger piece of plywood over on the inside to hook all those pieces together that are in the actual uh, window frame. Yeah, so now what I'm doing is making the brackets to support it. I've only made one so far. Okay, so I got it all in there. So what I have to do next is rework those bars that I had on the outside of the windows and uh, paint the outside of the wood. Yeah, when you put these window air conditioners in a garage, you got to clean this filter quite often. Yeah, it's going to be much better being in that window. It's out of the way now. The reason I didn't put that other air conditioner in this window to begin with is one of the pieces of glass came out easy, the other one I had to cut the center divider out to get the glass out of there. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this old uh, air conditioner. Okay, I got the old one removed. And the reason I spray painted over the windows is just so people can't look in. Now I've got to go outside and rework the bars over the windows. Okay, so now I'm going to rework these uh, bars over the windows. Okay, so I got that piece cut off. And now I'm starting to make the pieces to put back on here. Okay, I got the bars fixed over this window. Now I got to do the other one. Okay, so I got it all reworked. I didn't have any pieces of rebar that were long enough, so some of it's welded together. So now I just got to finish welding this and paint it. Okay, so I got it all painted. Now it's ready to go back on. Yeah, I went and put a screen over here just to keep the wasps out because they'll come in, and go in there for sure. Okay, it's all done. So in the next video, I'm going to build a carport right here where this car is.